Hey, this is Dr. Yates in Chicago with Dr. Yates Hair Science. I'm here with Scott Jones. It's almost like Mike Jones. If people who've heard, you ever heard of Mike? Jones? I've heard of Mike Jones. Okay. Yeah. Have you heard of Mike Jones? I have not. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it, man. Mike Jones. If if you're out there, Mike Jones, I've heard of you and I like your music. But what we're going to talk to you today, we have this guy's a movie star. You know, this guy is too. They're on a commercial called Hats Off. Boom. So he's actually the first. You're the first guy in the commercial, right? I am. So the commercial goes something like this. Are you tired of wearing a hat every day and don't have the freedom to show your hair? Well, Dr. Yates can change your life. Something like that, right? That's correct. That's good. Hats off. Boom. So let's take your hat off. Wow. Hats off. <laughs> Just like the commercial. So, Dave, how many procedures have you had here? I've had two here. You've had two here. How many have you had somewhere else? None. Oh, okay. Good. Just you got to check because guys come in and they have two here, six somewhere else, blah, 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 but he's only had two here. So Scott, show where Dave started from, because that's important where you started from, so you can see the improvement. So can you zoom in on those photos over there? These see? are placement photos. These are the graphs we're placed at. Right. So here's one. Here's that's a good one there. You can see he had kind of no hairline whatsoever. All this is kind of recreated hairline. Uh, he's had approximately 2,500 grafts between the crown and the front. The first time we kind of, we always center on this frontal section. We always kind of leave the crown out of that first procedure because it's just too much to do and I want to make sure the front is correct before we start using hair to put in the back. Um, and let's see what that is. Okay, his crown was humongous. Hold your head down a little bit. You can see that we kind of reduced the volume in the crown by about one half and we didn't want to use a lot of his donor hair. We put beard hair back here, and it looks awesome. The beard hair is a little thicker, and it feels a little thicker, but it looks good. I mean, Dave, does it look good to you? Absolutely. Looks good. And we took maybe three, 400 from the beard, just kind of to prove to him that it would work, and it's worked fine. Today, you know, Scott, explain what, what does Dave want to do today? So what Dave is doing today is, as we always do, anytime that's had, anybody that's had more than one procedure, we always kind of want to tweak the hairline. Tweaking the hairline is going to give you that definition and give you, give you some more styling opportunities and things like that. Gives you options. Options. And then secondly, since he's got this looking pretty good up here, we're going to put a little bit more back here in the crown and give him a little more coverage in this area right here. Right. So Blanca coming a little closer. So when I start planning what I'm going to do, his hair kind of goes this way. So we always strengthen the hairline here. Um, Scott, get, give me another pin over there, maybe that purple one. So we always, I'm gonna come back, strengthen the hairline. This, the placement of the hairline is beautiful. You can see it's, it has nice recession in it. None of this straight across, you know. It has beautiful recession. The angles here are good, turn this way there. The angles here are perfect as well. So we're gonna thicken up this area here, kind of bolster the hairline here, and then go to the back here and work on the vertex. Um, more, more on the top of the scalp than this vertical part in the back, you know. But it's gonna look great. Uh, so far, so good. So just like the hats off commercial says, hats off. And the thing you should know with hair transplantation, it's not magic, you know. It's supply versus de demand. Here's the supply, here's the demand. So this, when you use the supply, the supply is gone. It does not grow back. A lot of the patients always say, well, you know, you hear it more than me, Scott. What right. do they tell you? Uh, first of all, they want everything to look as full as it was when they were 18. Right. So basically you have to um, get them to comprehend that supply and demand do not equal out. Right. That we have to get the front and top as good as we can right. before we attempt to go into this area back through here. And this area back in through here is for those guys out there that say they want to fill the crown up. This is the hardest area to fill because of the direction the hair grows. It's a circle and it's round. So the surface area back here is roughly twice the size of the front and top. So that's why we got to get this good before we start tackling this back here. Right. Because if you tackle this back here and this doesn't look well, I always tell people you don't walk in a room backwards. This is what you see first. So you can't have everything, but you can have something and you can look great. So we're in Chicago, come see us. Any parting words, Dave? Hats off. Hats off. Hats off. More hair is better. Yeah. More hair is better. Thanks. <laughs>